Hey everybody, Multi Class Gamer here, welcome to our Mr. Mini Roy Printer. Uh, okay. So, I'm here at Landing Site Alpha, and uh, I want to go over a few things before we head over to the Valhalla. So, here in the logbook, I found the last enemy that I had not scanned yet in Skytown. And it makes sense that I hadn't scanned them yet because they are pretty much uh, rather obscure en creatures, should I say, not enemies, uh, transportation drones. Class D transportation drones are used for distribution of supplies and materials across an alt Skytown. You see them basically at the main landing site, like the very first landing site in Alicia, you know, in Skytown. Um, you see that you can see them carrying crates like across the sky. It's basically that's it. And those are the enemies that I missed and hadn't scanned yet. That the last one, Skytown. So the last creature that I don't have yet is uh, Admiral Dane for Galactic Federation. Uh, bosses, there's still two left actually that I haven't gone to yet, so that's why I haven't. You know, we're still too missing. And as for phase on enemies, most of them, the rest of these we're going to see at a... A lot of these we haven't even countered yet, and that's because they are going to be at either the Valhalla, or phase or both. So either way, we have not encountered these creatures yet, so that's why I haven't scanned them yet. So we're good on creatures, otherwise, besides Admiral Dane. Research entries, there is one that I completely missed and will not be able to get back, and that is... Um, Right here. This is supposed to be the ship grapple points. Apparently, those are research entries. I did not realize that. And maybe I could possibly still get the one at the uh, Chozo Observatory, but it said on the, you know, uh, retropixel.net that you can't uh, at the on Metroid Recon that uh, it's it's one of those things where it's like you only get one chance to scan them and, and then they're gone. So I don't know. I'm just not gonna assume that I can get it. I can still get it or not. I'll just get in a future playthrough, whatever. Um, the other research entries, I haven't come across them yet, so we're good on those. Lore. Um, so, this, the last Space Pirate uh, log that, I, that was missing was at the air shaft. I'll show you where that is real quick on the map. Um, I just don't want to take long, too long here because I really want to get to the Valhalla. It's uh, the air, sh air shaft right here. This is where I missed it. So... Let's go ahead and read that lore entry, then we'll head over to the GFS Valhalla. Okay, the source discovered. After her liberation, she left us adrift. We thought this was a test of our loyalty, and so we endured. Some said she abandoned us, they were promptly shot. Disciples do not doubt their leader. When she returned, it was on the back of a titanic starborn beast. As we groveled in awe, she ordered us to follow the beast through the through rift in space, a wormhole. Some refused to fall, afraid of the unknown. They too were shot. Disciples must be fearless. Once through the rift, we saw a singular planet, singular wonder, Phase, the source of all Phase on the cosmos. Phase, the home of our glorious leader. And that is every logbook entry except for two Galactic Federation data, which we're going to see at the Valhalla. So, without further ado, folks, let's head to the GFS Valhalla in the Gaflar system. We've been waiting so long to see this, it's finally time. And also, yes, our last six uh, suit upgrades should be there. So, we are good to get 100% pickups, not so much res or lower scans, or not so much on logbook, but that's okay. So, off we go. This is the creepiest place in the entire game. Nothing we saw in Pirate Homeworld was as creepy as this, as uh, foreboding as this place. Just the the red aura surrounding this place, and the the music, and the you know the the fact that there's nothing, there's really nothing, there's there's no live uh, uh, Fox Federation troopers here. They're all dead. Pretty much most of the vast majority of organisms we're going to come across here are dead. You're that, or they're phase on mutated creatures, basically. Those are the only living things we'll come across here. Now, the last energy cell of the entire game is right here. It's funny because when I first came, I completely missed it in the blind let's play. I literally missed it sitting right there. 
But uh, yeah, it's present to below this uh, down slide of fire, I think it's called. Yeah, slow fire coach. Thrusters damage in combat, impact was unavoidable. So let's pick it up. And now, the reason why you need the nine energy cells is because they allow you to progress through the Valhalla. And for that reason, I always wait until I get all the energy cells before I even come to the Valhalla at all. I save all the exploration for the Valhalla for the very end. So now we're finally going to put place all nine of the energy cells as we travel through the Valhalla. Uh, something to scan here. Again, these uh, research and these last uh, all the other scans that I'm missing are either going to be here or at phase. So we have to we're going to see a lot of stuff, a lot of new stuff here essentially, including one last set of street bats. First of all, also right here. By a step of data for energy cell. So, throughout the Valhalla, you're going to see nine of these uh, terminals here. These are essentially, technically, the uh, Valhalla's version of a lore scan. So, really, what it does is it just gives you locations of the energy cells. And they're going to be filled out, actually, um, where our energy cells are, which is right here. This is where they get filled out. It tells you the location of them and whether or not you've acquired them, if you happen to have scanned the terminal or not. But since I have all nine of these, technically these are completely unnecessary just for, except for logbook purposes. Um, but uh, let's get ready to scan these uh, street bats, see if I can actually do it. I got, I'm logged, I'm like, uh, locked onto it, so we're all good. Show we're all good. All right, phase on street bats, aggressive ceiling to over that dive bombs approaching organism, yep. And they completely missed me. Even though normally these creatures, like, they're de they're locked, they're dead on, like, where they're trying to hit. Now, there were some other creatures we saw flying through here. I'm pretty sure we'll see them again. Wait, what? I didn't take any damage from that fall? I should have at least taken 10 da damage from that fall, but I guess not. Okay, fine. Anyways. Destro blow ship up, shit up if you want to. I mean, the ship's already destroyed itself, so it doesn't matter. Yep. The, even the Exploration Trooper corpses are hollowed out because of Metroids. And also, this is quite gruesome to see. So I'm gonna get rid of it, because I'm creeped out. <laughs> yep, they were trying to escape, as you can see there. From me. In their last, uh... In their last moments of life. You can see the one guy tried to press the... Press the terminal there, and he fails. Or maybe he tried to, yeah, he suffocated when, as he was trying to press, and the other one was trying to open the door. So, just very creepy to think about. Also, mini roids, combat range, combat rating negligible. Infant has not developed power. So, these, yeah, these are infant Metroids, just like we saw in uh, Prime Two. Although they, again, they were a lot more, they were very obscure in that game. Jeez, she took a lot of hits in to get that Metroid there. Okay. This will be another extended episode, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to do this. Well, actually, maybe not. I don't know. M maybe I'll be okay with having just 102 episodes and the 102nd one being the finale. That's probably how it's gonna go. But yeah, just be on the lookout for new phase on enemies, because you're gonna see quite a few of them on the Valhalla. If not here, then on phase. Oh my. Gotta yeah, destroy liquid phase on so we don't get more of these enemies. Hoppers. So I think we, there's going to be like phase on hoppers, I know that, and I don't have those yet. Alright, what do we got here? So actually going to be two spots for energy cells in here, and also one of these terminals again. Let me just say one more time, I love the music here. <laughs> there you go. That's all I need to say on that. Just sets the foreboding tone perfectly. You would think that just one of these energy cells would be enough to power like one of the things, but no. It takes two of them just to power one walkway. Oh! I want to scan these. These are actually phase ing. Wall crawler shapeshifter, vulnerable to physical stress. It was, it was basically the same enemies as the as the inglets from Prime 2. 
So it's a nice, it's a very clever reference to Prime 2's enemies, actually. Come on. Grapple the freaking thing, jeez. Uh. Why does the grapple thing not work sometimes? It's so annoying. All right. I got hit by the debris there. Oh wow, these things can have quite the range. Give them that. All right, I'm gonna screw attack across here. Now this is one of our missing research entry or lore entries. All right, Talon Four incident. Plant Town 4. Formerly a Chozo colony was struck by its solar object 50 years ago. Object was later determined to contain large quantities of Phazon. The Chozo were able to stave off this, the spread of Phazon at the cost of many Chozo lives. The survivors abandoned the planet, fleeing to an unknown location. Decades later, Sam Hunter Samus Aaron responded to a distress call in the sector and discovered a space pirate Phazon mining station there. Aaron eliminated both the pirate and Phazon threat from the planet, though not without cost. This is for those very few people who did not play Prime 1, but instead played the, skipped straight to this game. For those people, I feel really sorry for you, because Prime 1 is not a game you want to skip. Not for any reason. Alright, next rumor right here, we have one of our missing missile expansions. Alright, so we should have two left here. We get a nice view of the outside here. Except the... Oh, this is the space power boarding pod. We can assume this is the one that, uh, yeah, it's the one that hit the ship. And then another one of these things. Just cell ID, yeah. So obviously these energy cells, they, they were supposed to be here, right? Like they're, they were just stolen, the pirates took them off to the random places. That's what I can assume from that. Okay, back to this room. We're probably going to have to clear out the Metroids again, so I'll have my extra visor ready real quick. Alright. Yeah, if you get a clear shot on them, then you can just get them instantly in one hit. I just don't, I just don't always have that kind of luck. There we go. I love seeing the clicking, or the, the flinching that Samus does with her finger to um, fire her, her beam weapon. It's really, it's a nice effect. And we don't get to see it all the time at all, actually. Okay, now we're gonna have to navigate our way around the mini roids in order to get to the end here. They could just, I don't know why they didn't call them just uh, infant Metroids, because that's what they are. Mini roids just sounds like a very strange way to say it, but whatever. Alright. Now that we're at the top here, let's move on, shall we? Yeah, there is no way to get to satellite data for the Valhalla. You're just gonna have to find all six of the pickups on your own. Come on. Come on, Kalidish, come on. Thank you. Now you could, I think you can destroy them without uh, grappling them, which is honestly preferable since the grapple seems to be very touchy on how, if, if it works at all. There we go. Break through these things. Oh, this one's whole. It's not hollow. A little energy burn suggests subject detonate an energy de detonate energy grenade at close range. Uh oh, who's this? Severe cranial trauma causes strong impact identifies cause of death. I guess it makes sense that these corpses are whole because they've been protected by the 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 glass here, so the Metroids haven't been able to get to them. Break the thing. Oh. Okay. You can get out of here. There go. Yeah, this place is pretty unstable, that's for sure. Alright, so now I know we're definitely going to see Metroids, aren't we? In this room? I'm pretty sure of it. Maybe not. Alright. Alright, let's go through this room. I think this is where we want to go uh, first, because this actually leads to a dead end technically, but there is cool stuff to get here. Open. Thank you. Yeah, okay, so this is dead end. I remember going in here, like, being all nervous, like there was going to be a boss fight or something. I, in, uh, in hindsight, this seems like kind of a cramped area to have a boss fight. But, uh, whatever. Do I hear the distinct sound of a power-up? Yes, I do. 
break through the debris here, and we will come across... Not what I expected, actually, to be honest. I think these are the phase on hoppers I was thinking of. Yep, phase on hopper. You know what? Let's use these hyper missiles, how about that? I've been neglecting to use them entirely, so let's actually start using them. You know, I've been complaining about how much you don't need to have a 255 missile, so might as well use them, right? Like, if I actually run it, manage to run out of missiles, I'll be shocked entirely. Alright, just one more missile expansion remains. Like, if I run out of missiles in phase while using while just using hyper missiles a lot, I will I'll eat my hat. How about that? Open the door, open, 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 open. Thank you. Oh, hello, I missed you. Not that you matter. I'm pretty sure these don't actually affect my percentage in the logbook since I already got the here. Come here. That's right. There we go. Get some of our energy back. Not that it matters because we got plenty at this point. Way more than we we'll probably ever need. All right, what do we got here? Subject appears to have been crawling toward the lift when shot at point blank range. Oh, ouch. Okay, another energy cell place. I have to wonder like how Samus is carrying all these things on her without them being noticeable. Okay, so the power is our elevator. I so want to go through here. Because there is, I think our last missile expansion is in here actually. Find our way to it real quick. I'm not gonna lie though, I tend to get to lost a few times whenever I am trying to get this one. Okay, no, I don't want to go that way. That's that's how you get out, but uh Try and find a different way here. Where do we go? Oh, right here. How did I miss that? I don't know. Alright, my friends, that is all missile expansions of Prime of the entire Metroid Prime trilogy. So now we ended this game with 255 missiles. Well, almost we'll be ending this game in the next episode. Unless, again, I decide to split this, because uh, I might. I might just do that. I might be evil enough to split episodes here, you know? Okay, now... Let's, uh... I need to just... Oh. Just do this. Yeah. Oh, wow. Got some, uh, airlock there. Oh, uh-oh. Pretty sure they can't. Uh. What the hell? Where'd that other one come from? I. It was just the only one, only one left. Oh, that's right. They've still been appearing from elsewhere. Okay, I think that's all of them. But uh, this right here is. It's not a safe station. They wouldn't block off a safe station, would they? Oh, wow. Well, no, that's to move on, isn't it? Yeah, that's that's to move on. So I'm going to wait on this door real quick. The door I really want is past here. This one we need our seeker missile to get to. What? Okay, you've got to be kidding me. There is no excuse for why that didn't hit the... Hit the points. I definitely aimed at it. I hate shit like that. I really do. Okay, anything?
anything in here I haven't gone yet? Like it. Besides this. Hello. Now this room is very similar to the... Actually, a lot of rooms are similar to rooms that we saw in the first, uh... What the hell? Do you have to be... Okay, wait a second. Do you have to be in a... How do you destroy that thing? Everything seems to... There we go. Yeah, missile, the mi hyper missile uses up a lot of phase on. The hell? Where the hell are these creatures coming from? Seriously, why do they keep on spawning out of nowhere? Okay. Is that all of them? Thank you. Okay. Okay, now this one right here is completely optional right here. Yeah. Actually, two of them. There's two optional energy place to put energy tanks, or energy cells. It'd be nice if I pull it, that Samus pulls it too, but no. Controls don't always work. I mean, you're supposed to. So yeah, these two are optional. Because all this one opens up to is just a ship missile expansion. Where'd it go? I don't know. Alright, folks. I'm going to end things off here, because uh, I don't want to have another 40-minute episode. Um, I apologize for... I apologize if you thought there was going to be... This is going to be another extended episode. I decided not to, just, just this time, because I... Again, I was trying to make this LP exactly 100 episodes, and now I'm not trying to do that anymore. Just I'm, I'm fine with 101 or 102, whatever. Um, so that's how it's going to be. So, yeah, next time on Metroid Prime Trilogy, we're going to complete our search through the Valhalla and get those codes to board the Levi or not board, but to command the Leviathan ship. So, I'll see you folks later. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.